everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and happy first Friday of July. The summer month of summertime and pool time. The perfect time to enjoy some summer treats like popsicles and PB&Js. Now, yummy treats often lead to sticky fingers or a spill or two. But don't worry, because in this week's Featured Read Aloud, a perfectly messed up story, we'll find out that a little mess isn't always a bad thing. In fact, sometimes many messes and mistakes can lead to the best surprises and creations of all. So get ready and grab your own summer treat for this read aloud. Maybe some ice cream or a popsicle or two. Be prepared for a story of sweet, silly fun. Are you ready? Let's begin. So the title of this week's featured storybook is A Perfectly Messed Up Story, written and illustrated by Patrick McDonnell. That means Patrick McDonald wrote all of the words and he drew all of the really cool pictures you're about to see. So what do you see going on here on this cover, my friends? Yeah, looks kind of messy, doesn't it? I see some, looks like someone spilled some jelly. I see, oh, what are these? Looks like fingerprints, huh? And maybe someone spilled some juice or something? Ay, 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 some coloring in the corner. Looks really messy, huh? And who do you think this is? A little fella there, huh? And it looks like he's reading a book, huh? Hmm. A perfectly messed up story. Looking at this cover, what do you think this story is going to be about? Something really messy? <laughs> All right, well, let's find out. All right. So here's our title page. It has our title and who wrote and illustrated the story. And what setting do you see here? Where is this story taking place? Yeah, it looks like a meadow, a place with lots of green grass, nice and pretty. Hmm. Hey, our little friend from the cover. It says, this is Louie's story. I'm guessing that's Louie. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along, happily along. Merrily means very happy. <laughs> Looks really happy, huh? Tra la 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 la, he sang. When you're really happy, do sometimes you kind of sing to yourself? <laughs> yeah, can you sing me your happy song? Ooh, that sounds really happy. For in his heart, Louie knew everything was just. Hey! Hold on! <gasps> Looks like Louie's talking in. What does he see here? What's that? What does it look like, my friends? It kind of looks like jelly. Like jelly from a peanut butter jelly sandwich. But what's it doing in his story? Hmm. Sniff, sniff. What do you think it smells like? Strawberries. Mm. Lick, lick. Can you lick lick with your tongue? Looks like he's smelling it and licking it to see what it is because he's not sure yet. Well, you know what it is, huh? It's a jelly stain? Is something that's stuck on your page forever a stain? How did that get here? This isn't right, says Louie. Who would eat a jelly sandwich while reading my book? Hmm. How does Louie feel about finding this jelly stain in his story? Kind of grumpy, right? He's not very happy about that. Plop! Uh, oh, my friends, what is that? What just fell on Louie's face? Peanut butter! Uh, how do you think Louie's going to feel about this? Jelly and peanut butter? Arr! The chunky kind. The kind of peanut butter with all the nuts. Does he like that kind? I don't think he likes any kind of PB and jelly in his story, huh? My friends, is the PB and J supposed to be there? No. Wait a second. What's going on all over this page just now? Hey! 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 Oh no, my friends, what do they look like? Fingerprints? <gasps> Looks like someone's using dirty hands to touch this story. Is it you? Not me. My hands are clean. Look. Uh-oh. Somebody's fingerprints are all over this. 
Oh, what's happening to his story? It's getting really messy, isn't it? Splut, splut. Oh, no. What next? What do you think it is? I see some little splashes over here. What color are they? Kind of. Orange. Orange juice! Arr! My story is getting all messed up. Oh my gosh, he's just getting kind of angrier and angrier. My friends, what are all the different things that are messing up his story right now? Fingerprints, orange juice, PB and J. Hey, we need to show some respect here. Books are important. They teach us stuff. I agree with Louie. And they inspire us. They make us want to do even better and do great things. Why is he telling us all about how important books are? Yeah, because he thinks someone's being so messy and not taking care of his story. They need to be more careful, right? Because books are really special. My friends, do you take care of your books? What are some good ways to take care of a book? Have clean hands. Make sure you turn the pages carefully. Don't bend the pages. Write all those things. Don't eat while you're reading, or at least not something that'll spill. Also, now he's like, now, can I please get on with my story? Thank you. Okay, from the top. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along, singing his happy song. Sing it with me. Tra la 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 la. Do you think all the messes are done? La! What is this? You have got to be kidding! This is awful! Quick! Get a paper towel! What is it, my friends? Someone scribbled colors all over his story. Hopefully he can wash it away with the paper towel. You think that'll work? Let's see. Ready? Get out your hand. Pretend you have a paper towel and rub, 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 rub. Careful, he's saying. Careful. Just rub right there, rub right there. And did it work? Mm. Hi! This is the worst thing ever. What am I going to do? Oh, no, my friends did the paper towel help. Kind of made it worse, huh? Well, looks like he's going to try to start over. Once upon a time... Stop! Forget it, says Louie. My story is ruined. It's all over. I'm just in a messy old book. That will end up in some garage sale. When people are done with books, they often sell them in garage sales. A book no one will ever want, read, or love. Oh. How does Louie feel now? Have you ever felt this way? So disappointed and discouraged like you just want to give up? Yeah. It's not a very nice feeling, is it? I give up. Go on. Go on without me. Okay, well, let's go on. This is Louie's story. Who cares? Oh, he's not feeling too well, is he? But story's gonna try to go on. Once upon a time, little Louie went skipping merrily along. Tra la 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 la, he sang. Oh, life was so much simpler back then, said Louie. For in his heart, Louie knew everything was just... What? Just what? In his heart, he knew everything was just... What do you think? Just what? Fine. In his heart, he knew everything was just fine. Hmm. Wow, said Louis. You know what? Everything is fine. I'm still here. You're still reading, right? We're still reading. Thumbs up. And it is a pretty good story. Messes and all. How is Louis feeling now? Is he feeling as sad and disappointed as before? No, he's sounding more hopeful. I wonder what changed. Yeah, he realized everything is fine. Messes and all, right? Everything's okay. So, come on, let's finish this. This is Louie's story. 
I love it! And nothing is going to stop me, says Louie. It sounds like this story ends with Louie realizing, you know what? Even if my story gets a little messed up and messy, it's okay. Everything's fine. A little mess isn't too bad. Has that ever happened to you, my friends, where things got kind of messy and you kind of felt like, Ugh, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. But guess what? Everything is fine. Remember that and then maybe you can be just like Louie and be like, you know what? Everything's okay. I'm going to keep on going. That's having real persistence and trying hard and hard again and again. All right, my friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed that sweet little messy tale. What was your favorite part of this story? <laughs> yeah, even though I felt kind of bad for Louie, I still thought it was a little funny when the peanut butter landed right on his face and then, ah, the orange juice and all the fingerprints. My friends, what is something you learned about reading this story? Yeah. I learned two things. I learned that one, you shouldn't let a little mess bother you. Keep on going. A little mess is fine. And sometimes it makes things even better. And second, I learned that it is important to take care of books though, right? You don't want to make them all messy and dirty. You want to try to read with clean fingers. And if you're eating, make sure you keep it over a plate and it doesn't fall on your book. Right? Thumbs up if you take good care of your books. Awesome. Okay, let's move on to this week's craft. It's full of creativity. Well, since this week's story was all about making messes and learning to deal with them and make the best out of messes, this week's craft is called my PB&J Splatter Art. It kind of looks a little messy, doesn't it? But that's the point. For this craft, I actually took real peanut butter and jelly and I kind of splattered it on my piece of toast outline. And then I took markers and instead of thinking, ugh, this is so messy, I used my markers and I made pretty pictures out of the messes, turning the messes into something even better and more creative. Now, if you don't want to use peanut butter and jelly, you could also use red and brown paint to make some splatters and pretend that's your PB&J. And that might be kind of better so that way you can keep your artwork for longer, right? You don't want ants getting all over this one. Those also can be fun if you want to do a little food fun craft. All the directions for this craft can be found on the blog, but it's super simple. All you need is a little outline of a piece of toast. A template can be found on my blog, my storybook. And then you just need some PB&J or some brown and red paint, splatter it on, and then just some markers to help create pictures out of the little messes that you made. Okay, so the template and all the directions can be found on the blog by clicking on the link below. There you can also find additional reading resources and as well as vocabulary to incorporate throughout this story. Now, if you do make your own PB&J splatter art, please share with my storybook. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, on the blog, or here on YouTube by commenting and sharing with me your own pictures and your own reading adventures. I would love to hear from you. You can find all those social media links by clicking on those links below. Our friends, we are now full swing into summer, and so I hope you're having a wonderful time. I'm still in summer school, finishing up classes to get my Master's of Education to become an elementary school teacher, first grade teacher next year. But I'm still having a fun time, going to the beach, going to the pool, hanging out with friends and family, checked out the fair last week. And I've been working on a really special project that I'm excited to share with all of you pretty soon. I'm working on some special read aloud videos under this grant that I received. And I'm hoping that they'll be ready to share with you coming this August, just in time for the new school year. And as always, my friends, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of our interactive read-alouds and to see all the new reading adventures that are coming up next. You can subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Okay, well, I hope you are enjoying your summer time. I will see you next Friday for our new reading adventure. But until then, happy reading!